Hello guys, this is Anish Ridge here with the tutorial on how to model armor and give it a cool look like um, like that, but that's out of position. But it looks pretty cool and it looks exactly like in Minecraft and yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So first you need to find your Minecraft folder, so go into your home, if you have Windows, it's app data, go to library, application support, Minecraft, you should already know this bin, and then Minecraft, then go click on here, and arrange by kind, and you should have all the folders on the top, and then go to GUI, no, no, go to armor, over here, oh my god, go to armor, and you have all your armors here, so we're gonna make the two diamond, things here um, to get them both uh, make, put them in Photoshop and I'm just gonna go through what each one is this is the head this is the front of the head so you want to crop the front of the head like this oops just crop it like that oh, God. crop it press enter save it as whatever you want this is the right uh, not the left and this is the right this is the top um, this is the back and yeah so that's that's basically how everything is um, and this is the body so you want to crop this like this and you just have to figure out how many pixels big it is and you can just put it in Minecraft as the pixel big size thingy <laughs> so each pixel is 6.25 centimeters so if you count how tall it is you can actually uh, just watch my modeling tutorial and you can model everything perfectly I guess so um, this is the boots uh, at least that's what I think I have a picture here yeah that's the boots those are the boots and you wanna make uh, the shoulders you wanna crop this image and this is the left side of the shoulder and you wanna go to image and then image rotation and go to image flip canvas horizontal and this is the right side of the shoulder so you want to crop all of those like that for uh, the sides of the shoulders and this is the body obviously and let's open the other one and now we'll go through that and hold alt and just zoom in to zoom in pretty fast this is the waist I hope that's the waist uh, yeah that's the waist um, that's the legs and yeah so now let's make the helmet which is pretty much the comp most complicated thing so I have one set up right here looks pretty cool in my opinion and it looks good and you have if you click here it's just one um, object really and yeah so let's get to modeling it so let's go crop the images which I already did of course and so you wanna crop each image um, and it should be 8 by 8 so hold Alt Command I to get the image size or you go to image and image size here and make sure it's 8 by 8 and then save it as this head front and load them into this Cinema 4D and how to do that with alpha so let's get a new material oh, I don't I hate going through all of this but I've already gone through it but some people don't know how to do it so this is the image press yes none go to alpha click on this go to copy the texture from the color and just call up, paste it in here and then you have your yo the yo yeah yo, yo, yo material so now let's get to texturing uh building i mean post but yeah so i will put the download of the finished one so now go to your make a new cube click on the cube and let's find the size also, it's 8 pixels tall and 8 pixels wide, so that's 8 times 6.25, which is 50. And so make it 50, 50, 50. And yeah, so watch my modeling tutorial if you're getting confused on which what's the size and everything like that. Now we want to go to segments and tie, uh, divide the 50 by 6.25, which is, no, actually just count, it's 8 pixels tall, so on the y-axis which is how tall it is you put 8 so it's wide uh, it's 8 pixels wide on the uh, x-axis so you put 8 and the 8 so I hope you got that 
and now we have its pixelated sort of looking thingy um oh yeah now press uh, make it editable select the faces and yeah this took a while to figure out because i couldn't get the uh the, the, the model to have like a small uh wait you see this small piece here i think you can use the extrude nubs or whatever it's called but i don't know how to really use that so i'm just gonna plus you have an extrude nub to deal with so i just made a modeling tutorial on how to just do that so now just paste in your texture do this for all the sides i might skip this part Okay guys, I'm back, um, so I just dragged in all the textures and now you should get this, um, and by the way this tutorial was suggested by someone, well it wasn't suggested to make a tutorial but I just went on with making a tutorial, so click on your cube, uh, and now we want to just delete these faces here which we don't need, which is completely empty, and oh my god, just delete all of them like that, delete the bottom you wanna make sure you don't delete anything unless like any uh, wrong faces so I'm just gonna quickly do this okay guys I'm back again, uh, I deleted the faces and now we wanna select all so go to your move tool and just double click and you should have all these faces selected and now you wanna right click oh, right click and go s press on split and that just duplicates it basically but I don't know now press um, M and T or just click on the extrude or right click and go and extrude over here and then you want to come here and type in negative 1.5 press enter and you should get that and now you want to you want to select the uh, original cube you had and just make it red here so double click on that small ball there and you should get this sort of look and click on the new cube you made from that and you get this so now we need to delete the unnecessary parts like this uh, I, I'm not sure if it's gonna make a big difference but I think it might affect your render a bit but you can delete it you can leave it see when you keep this here, you have like a weird looking thing here, but in the render you don't really see it but I'm not sure about uh, other things, so I'm just gonna delete it I'll be right back when I delete it, so, oh sorry, I'll show you what you have to delete so you have to delete these like weird looking extra things and just delete that um, I might actually speed this up Oh, I might. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I finished deleting those faces, sort of things, and you should be left with these just pop out. And by the way, you can actually just change the texture if you want to make it leather or if you want to make it gold. You just have to change the texture over here and the texture of the helmet and this and then it should automatically just change all of them and now we, if you untick oh, that box over there you get both your cubes and now you select both your cubes and right click and click on connect objects plus delete and it makes it just one object and name it helmet and we have our helmet so oh forgot we need to select um, these faces here and we need to just add a small texture here and then we are done with our helmet so do that and you want to just go to your helmet and crop something like this and then you want to save that crop and just load it into Cinema 4D and uh, just put it in here so I'll quickly do that, make sure it's like that and I had a lot of problems with this, so please don't dislike. <laughs> I have a, I have dislikes almost every video now, which is pretty weird. And I have one hater, which is like disliking all my videos. And he has like 
1,400 subscribers, which is a lot in my opinion. So, and I suggested uh, like a treaty. <laughs> uh, let's see, like he would say my rig sucks. And please give your opinion on my rig. I would like to have an opinion. If it's better than X Minecrafter's rig, X Minecrafter, XX, or whatever his name is, just tell me if it's better than his. And uh, I just want to just, and that's the, the texture I just loaded in. Okay, so we have our texture now. Ah, oh, I don't know what I was talking about before. But yeah, so we finished our helmet. So in the render, it looks okay. That's a black spot there because yeah, the camera is there. Uh, so I will put the download for the finished armor. All you have to do is change the material and you got the leather armor. Whatever, that's why I didn't use UV mapping. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And bye. By the way, this was suggested by someone. I don't know if I already said that, but bye. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I forgot to say something here. Um, uh, that when you finish your object, you should move it into a position of a character. So go move it into position. I'm gonna use the waist for example because I didn't have. Uh, I deleted the helmet <laughs> because I already had a helmet. So get in, get it into a character, and then press T to scale and just scale it out like that. And if you um, for the helmet, you just scale it out like that and just scale it about 1.5 or one centimeter or something until you're satisfied and if you want to scale the waist or something you just uh, click on this Y thing here and you want to just scale it on the Z, X and Z axis so you click on the Y and just click on the box that you want to scale and you just scales on the X and Y axis X and um, Z axis so that's what these, these buttons do by the way um, so we'll just scale it out like that and that looks about right I guess uh, let's see let's make it the same actually let's just make it like this big yeah that's about right uh, okay so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and bye